Welcome everyone to one more session in data structures and algorithms tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to learn about doubly ended queue that is DEQ. Okay, it is not equal to DQ. Okay, it is doubly ended queue. And so, if you want more such videos from Edignite NGO, then please like, share, and subscribe to the Edignite NGO channel. So, it is not equal to DE. Q. DEQ means removing an element, but doubly ended Q is a whole data structure. Okay, it is a whole data structure. So let me just erase this part. Okay, and now let us look at doubly ended Q. Okay, so over here, over here, let us let us have a, a Q. Okay, over here, let us have a Q where we have several elements okay where we have several elements our front is at minus one okay zero one two three four five and red is over here okay so what is doubly ended q doubly ended q means we can insert okay earlier in the singly ended q we only had insertion okay we could only insert from rail we could only insert from rear but over here we can insert from front as well as rear and we can also delete from front as well as rear okay earlier we could only delete from front but over here we can delete from front as well as rear okay so over here we can write insertion 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 from insertion from front and rear front and rear okay from front and rear as well as deletion from front and rear deletion deletion from deletion from front and and rear okay deletion from front and rear so this is about doubly ended queue but over here, over here, there are also two types of queue. Okay, you have this original queue and you have two types of this particular queue. Okay, particular DEQ. First is input restricted. Okay, input restricted, input restricted, input restricted, DEQ, DEQ. I am writing DE in capital letters so that we don't confuse ourselves with DQ. Okay. And we have output restricted DEQ. Okay. So output restricted DEQ. Okay. In input restricted DEQ, we cannot, we cannot insert from front yes we can insert from rear as we did it in original or the, the singly ended queue okay but we cannot insert from front okay we cannot insert from front and in uh, output restricted many of you must have guessed it right cannot delete from cannot cannot delete from from rear okay as it is output restricted it restricts the output from one side okay and over here in input restricted it restricts the input from one side so that was about input restricted and output restricted deq okay so how to do it okay how to do it we can implement it using it is an abstract data type okay so it will have several operations first is is empty operation okay first is is empty operation so over here over here in is empty operation the condition will be same if front is equal to rear the queue is empty okay the queue is empty then we have is full operation okay we have is full condition okay so let us visualize this particular queue okay 
let us visualize as we can delete from front as well as rear we need to check that front is at minus 1 and rear is at end okay front is at the very beginning and rear is at the very at very end so because front may be over here at that time q is not full okay so we need to check front is over here at the beginning and rear is over here at the end okay so over here we need to check two conditions front should be equal to minus 1 and rear should be equal to size okay the the index of rear should, should be equal to size minus 1 size minus 1 okay now we have we have nq condition okay nq E N Q Q U E U E. Okay, N Q at rare part. Okay, N Q at rare part is same as what we saw. Okay, it is same as what we saw in Q. Okay, what we saw in the the normal Q or we can say singly ended Q. Okay, we are N Qing it from rare. Okay, we are N Qing it from rare. The only changes we have uh, we have just added are in this particular name of the method. Okay. Now what about NQ front? E N Q U E U E N Q N N Q at front. Okay. For that our front. Okay. For uh, for NQing at uh, at front, our front should be over here okay our front should not be equal to minus one at that point of time only we can nq at front okay so over here we can nq an element okay nq an element and then and then move our front okay and then move our front it is very very simple so let me let me just select it and move my front okay Let me move my front over here. I'll move my front over here. Let me just erase it. Okay. And I will move front over here. Okay. I'm moving my front over here. So this way we can enqueue it. Okay. We can enqueue in at front. Okay. Now about dequeuing operation. Okay. So we we have dq operation at front which is same as we saw in our q same as same as we saw in our singly ended or our normal q okay and we have we have q e q dq at rare okay we are dqing it at at rare so let us suppose let us suppose that this is our rare okay this is our rare we have filled all this okay and this is our rare okay so we want to dq at rare okay what we will do we will delete the element or we will just move our rare our rare from here we will move our rare from here to here okay we will decrease the value of rare okay so that was about dequeuing it at rare dequeuing it at rare so you can do this particular dequeuing in dq and this operation nq operation by yourself okay so over here we saw four operations for uh, nq as well as dq okay and we have two is full and is empty operation we can also have operation of q traversal and everything okay so this was about doubly ended q let us let us revise what we have studied okay in doubly ended q so let us have a, a quick summary let us have a quick summary of what we have done doubly ended q okay so over here let let me just erase it and let me write it let it be readable okay so d e q d e Q. okay d e q okay in d e q we can insert we can insert from we can insert from front 
we can insert from front and rear okay we can insert from front and rear i am underlining this front because we couldn't do it in in case of normal queue okay and we can delete okay we can delete from we can delete from front and rear okay we can delete from front as well as rear part okay so we can insert from front as well as rear and we can delete from front as well as rear part okay and now what was about what were the types over here okay we had input restricted queue okay we we saw input restricted queue where we couldn't we where we cannot where we cannot insert we cannot insert from front yes we can insert from end okay we cannot insert for only from front okay where we cannot insert from front and we had output restricted okay we had output restricted output restricted queue where we cannot where we where we cannot delete where we cannot delete from rare okay this restricted input and this restricted output now we just saw some methods okay first was is empty method okay is empty e m e m p t y is empty method where we just need to check front is equal to rare okay then we saw is full method is full method okay is full is when front is equal to minus 1 as well as rare is equal to size minus 1 size minus okay size minus 1 okay now we need to check nq at rare okay nq e n e n q u e q e n q okay nq at rare nq at rare okay at that point of time we we can also check check that rare if rare is not size minus 1 okay rare is not equal to size minus 1 that that point of time only we can nq at rare okay then we can we will insert data okay we will then just insert data at the next okay or first of all increase the rare okay so let me just type let me write increase the value of rare and then then just uh, write arr of r equal to data okay so this was about enqueuing at rare okay and now enqueuing at front okay enqueue e n q u e u e enqueue at front okay so if we have NQ at front, okay, we want to NQ at front. So, what we can do is, the, the front plus 1 should not be equal to minus 1, okay. Sorry, it, it should be empty, okay. It should be empty. So, we can, uh, we can, what we can do is, we can just write if front is, front should not be equal to minus 1, first of all, front should not be equal to minus 1 then we can add data at f okay add data at f which is equal to data whoops i am just uh, okay let let me move a little bit over here okay f equal to data and then i can decrease the value of f f minus minus okay f minus minus so I can decrease the value of f. So what I have done is, if this is my q, okay, this is my q. If this is my front, okay, and over here the data starts from here. So I will add data over here and decrease my front, okay, decrease my front. So this is how I can enqueue it from I in, I can enqueue it from front, okay, and I will just uh, erase all the things. Now let me let me get pin okay let us look at dq part okay let us look at dq at rear and dq at front dq 
let us first see dequeuing at front okay for dequeuing at front okay for dequeuing q should not be empty so front should not be equal to rear front should not be equal to rear that point of time only we can dequeue it okay we can dequeue an element in front okay and then we can just increase the value of front okay and then what about dequeuing at rear dequeuing at rear okay in dequeuing at rear first of all it should not be empty okay so front should not be equal to rear front should not be equal to rear and we can just decrease the value of rear okay we can decrease value of rear so this way we can we can dequeue at rare okay so this was about this was about nq and dq functions in deq that is doubly ended queue that's it for this particular session let's meet in the next session thank you everyone